So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Bird's Nest. Good evening. Good morning. How you doing? So, these Philadelphia Eagles are in a bind. As we know, we are the most plagued franchise, I would say, consistently in the past three years. Even the Super Bowl winning season, we were plagued by injuries. Thus, the reason Nick Foles led us to the bowl. Well, we got the final injury report for the Eagles for Sunday's game, the Sunday evening game against the San Francisco 49ers. And it ain't looking good. So, the wide receiver core will be a bunch of new faces, a bunch of young, inexperienced, non-superstar, non-threatening, potential having receivers. Greg Ward will be the highlight of our receiver core. And um, as the only starter, uh, we will have Dante Burnett, who's a standout in training camp. We will have possibly J.J. Ortega Whiteside. Um, we just signed uh, several people from the practice squad to the active roster. Adrian Killians, uh, the speedster, a little five foot nine guy. Um, Dante Burnett. Uh, we just signed from the Panthers practice squad, uh, the young um, former wide receiver who we have signed to be a tight end. He's 6'5 and a half, 6'6, 225. Uh, Hakeem Butler. Uh, whether he will see some immediate action this week, seeing as he did, you know, he just got signed uh, from what I was. Seeing, they said he only got reps with the practice squad with the scout team this uh, week. So, um, doubt he'll get some play unless somebody get hurt. Then they forced to put him out there. Um, big body receiver. Uh, as of now, I guess he's the what third tight end behind Zach Ertz and Richard Rodgers. Uh, oh no, we still got that other guy that we got from the, um, the rookie. So, he might be the fourth. I don't know what they're going to do. <sighs> it don't really look good. Don't really look good. Only thing that helps us is the cornerbacks and the defense for San Francisco 49ers is banged up also. So, you know, that's going to help out. But, and the fact that they don't have too much tape on our receiving core who will be playing. So, you know, we got a lot of possibility for breakouts and things of this nature. Um, Green might even get some play from the practice squad. He's a speedster. He's been on and off the team. We, we're going to see. Um, Jason Peters and Trevor Williams have been put on injury reserve. So that means they cannot be put back on the active roster for at least three weeks. I like Trevor Williams. Uh, you know, I've, I've been raving about the guy since we put him in the Futures deal on the offseason. He was once like, top 10 rated by P uh, Pro Football Focus as far as coverage when he played for the Chargers. He did half okay with us last week when he came in, and he was forced to play after Maddox got hurt. And now he's hurt with a rib injury. Now he's going to be out for at least three weeks, so. <sighs> Don't look good. Carson look like he's going to be running for his life. Uh, offensive line getting shuffled. It's, 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 it's going to be deep. 
It's going to be deep. We got the Sunday night game. I don't know if this is going to be worth staying up till 12 o'clock. But, um, you know, as a loyal fan, it's just, it's only, I'm stuck with what I'm stuck with. We're going to ride till the wheels fall off. Hey. Thanks, Howie. Thanks.